What's up YouTube? Today we got an unboxing from Fear Not Tarantulas. Cue the intro, dive on in. Alright, so like I said, we are unboxing three tarantulas today from Fear Not Tarantulas, so big shout out to them, and we're actually going to do our little build and everything. We copied our tarantula enclosure build from Tom's Big Spiders. Big shout out to him. Love his channel, love his podcast, uh, the Tarantula Collective, Tarantula Cat, all them people in the tarantula world have been like so helpful with their videos and gathering information. But we're gonna do our own little build, you know, like enclosure build, and we're not gonna go in super detail because you can just go watch Tom's Big Spiders for that. But we'll show you how we do ours and uh, unboxing the spiders. All right, here is Kix's. It looks like it's an arboreal one, but it's not set up that way. We just have these taller cups with deli cup lids that fit. You'll notice that we got side ventilation same with this one side ventilation this one is for me nice hide sphagnum moss see this one's got a little starter burrow sphagnum moss starter burrow sphagnum moss and then this one's for connor's because connor's is supposed to be really small so once we get to connor's if his is bigger than expected we will redo we'll do another one of these and uh, go from there so now let's get into some uh rehousing unboxing stuff all right, so the first one we're going to unbox is the one I got for me, and it is a Zanestis Amanis. These are really cool spiders, and they get pretty large. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the tape off. Notice that I got it in a tub with some little things in here, some little clutter, that uh, if the spider does jump out or bolt, it's contained in the tub, and more than likely, from what I've learned, they'll run under the first thing they can find to hide. So. That's why I got the little clutter in there. And uh, I'm sure you guys all know I am not a spider guy. Let me get my tweezers real quick. All right, we are gonna use the Redline Science tweezers to do the unboxing and we also have a paintbrush to help nudge the spider so we don't hurt the spider. I don't want to use the tongs on the spider. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pull this. Oh, there it is in there. Oh yeah, it is pretty big. Yeah, this is a bad boy right here. And Fear Not Tarantulas has a instruction manual on how to unbox in here too. Wow, that thing is cool. So that is a Zanesta Samanis. Or the Colombian Lesser Black Tarantula. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take the camera from Connor. Bring it over here into the light, but if you can see it, I'm not putting this one in the light box or anything but uh yeah very cool i'm gonna put a lid on this one and we're gonna get on to the next one next up this is kix's spider this is a chroma topelma cyano pubescent i think i said that right or the green bottle blue or you'll hear them called gbb which is short for green bottle blue these are a super popular and really cool spider uh, this one look it's already at the top so, we are going to 
unbox this one carefully. Come out. Oh, woo. All right. So we're gonna try to prod it off of that. Then we'll get. Oh. That's all right. It's all right. Okay, now we're, that one's uh, feisty right now, so we're gonna put the lid on that. All right, next up we got the Terno Palma Sazamai. Uh, Terno Palma Sazamai, Sazamai. Uh, iridescent blue, or if you look them up, they some kind, sometimes call them Brazilian blue, but there's also a Brazilian blue dwarf, so it's kind of confusing. But uh, this is a really cool spider too. Actually, when it's full grown, it looks very similar to a green bottle blue. And this was a freebie that Fear Not Tarantulas threw into the order. So very cool. And this one is going to Connor. And this one is supposed to be really small. So uh, we're gonna try to see if we can keep it alive. Pretty small, huh? I don't see it. Real small, see it? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, we got it in there. Just gonna leave that sphagnum moss piece. Yeah. I don't really wanna touch that one since it's so small. Let's uh, let it go down a little bit. Okay, it is in there somewhere, right there. All right, I wanna get it away from the top. Okay, now we're gonna put the lid on this one and call it good. So all three spiders made it alive and well. And something we learned too is make sure you always label them. That way, if there's an emergency or something, whoever, whoever knows what kind of spider it was, they don't freak out. And uh, yeah, and then that way you know what they are. So that was our big unboxing for the day. Thank you to Fear Not Tarantulas and a big shout out to Tom's Big Spiders, the Tarantula Collective, and Tarantula Cat for all the wonderful content. And that's actually how we learned everything we know up to this date. We had bad luck with the first three that we had, so we're hoping this three um, live. <laughs> so anyways, until next time, guys, rock on.